So I'm a little bit late to the party on this, but there were two really damning stories about Hillary Clinton that provide us with more evidence of just straight up overt corruption. Now, one of them originated from the Wall Street Journal and another was discovered in John Podesta's emails by WikiLeaks. So getting to the Wall Street Journal story, the political organization of Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe, an influential Democrat with long-standing ties to Bill and Hillary Clinton, gave nearly 500000 to the election campaign of the wife of an official at the FBI who later helped oversee the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's email use. The Wall Street Journal cited campaign finance records that showed McAuliffe's political action committee donated 467500 to the 2015 political campaign of Jill McCabe, wife of Andrew McCabe, who is now the deputy director of the FBI. In addition, the Virginia Democratic Party donated an additional 207000 to McCabe's state Senate campaign. More than a third of all campaign funds raised for the race thus came from entities in which McAuliffe played a major role. She lost the race. McAuliffe and the FBI have both played down the link between McAuliffe's campaign donations and the later investigation into Clinton's email use. However, McAuliffe said he had barely ever even come into contact with Jill McCabe's husband, and the FBI released a statement reiterating that Mr. McCabe had played no role in his wife's political campaign and was promoted to deputy months after it had ended. Right, so even though they're married and he works for the FBI and a friend of Hillary Clinton uh, donated to his wife's political campaign, there's no conflict of interest there because they're, you know, he wasn't involved in her campaign. They may be husband and wife and discuss every intimate detail of their lives with each other, but with this, you can rest assured that there was no bribe there, there's no corruption, there's no conflict of interest. Look away. This is really, really troubling. Now, when it comes to the WikiLeaks uh, scandal, there's more evidence of pay-to-play deals between Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation. The Atlantic explains, the chief complaint that critics make about the Clinton Foundation is that the former and perhaps future presidents engaged in a pay-to-play scheme whereby donors, many of them foreign governments, would contribute money to the charity in exchange for access to Bill or Hillary, or worse, beneficial treatment from the State Department. On Thursday, hacked emails from WikiLeaks suggest that this is precisely what happened when the King of Morocco agreed to host a Clinton Global Initiative Summit and give $12 million, but only if Hillary Clinton attended the May 2015 meeting. No matter what happens, she will be in Morocco hosting CGI on May 5th through 7th, 2015. Uma Abedin, a top Hillary Clinton aide, wrote in a November 2014 email to several other advisors, including campaign chairman John Podesta. Her presence was a condition for the Moroccans to proceed, so there is no going back on this. The timing of the summit was important because Hillary Clinton's inner circle was planning for the formal launch of her presidential campaign and wanted to clear her schedule of paid speaking engagements and commitments to the foundation, particularly those that could cause political controversy. In January 2015, Abedin followed up with another email explaining in more detail why the future Democratic nominee couldn't simply back out of the event in Morocco. Just to give you some context, the condition upon which the Moroccans agreed to host the meeting was her participation. If HRC was not part of it, meeting was a non-starter. CGI was also pushing for a meeting in Morocco and it wasn't their first choice. This was HRC's idea, our office approached the Moroccans and they 100% believe they are doing this at her request. The king has personally committed approximately 12 million both for the endowment and to support the meeting. It will break a lot of China to back out now when we had so many opportunities to do it in the past few months. She created this mess and she knows it. Ultimately, Clinton's aides prevailed upon her and she sent Bill and Chelsea Clinton in her place. But this exchange about Morocco, first reported by the New York Post, is the clearest example yet and the emails posted by WikiLeaks of the type of arrangement that people find most, well, icky about the Clintons. Bill and Hillary wanted a deep-pocketed donor to make a large contribution and foot the bill for a ritzy conference, and the King of Morocco wanted access to the woman who, then as now, was the leading candidate to be the next president of the United States. Make no mistake about it, these examples are examples of overt corruption. We have a potential bribe from a Clinton ally going to someone who is related by marriage to someone who's investigating her email. We have direct pay-to-play deals between King Mohammed VI of Morocco and the Clinton Foundation and then him basically buying access. So when people tell you that criticisms of Hillary Clinton are unfair or 
They're just criticizing Hillary Clinton because of her gender. Give them these examples because these show that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, they have ties to everyone. When it comes to the FBI, we saw how Bill Clinton met with Loretta Lynch just days before FBI Director James Comey announced that he would not be recommending an indictment of Hillary Clinton. We see countless examples of Clinton Foundation donors getting access to Hillary Clinton, and more troublesome is those donors getting access to Hillary Clinton while she was Secretary of State. Because we all know about the famous uh, Saudi weapons deal where she approved the weapons deal to Saudi Arabia after they donated upwards of $10 million to the Clinton Foundation. She did this while she was Secretary of State. And right before she approved that deal, when it was going through, Boeing donated to the Clinton Foundation. And they knew that they would profit off of this new weapons deal for the Saudis because they would be making jets for the Saudis. And it's just so troubling that Democratic Party loyalists are trying to defend her in spite of this. Look, be objective. If this was a Republican that these revelations came out about, all liberal pundits, everyone would be jumping down their throats. They would be criticizing them as they rightfully should. So it's not right when a Republican does it, and it's certainly not right when a Democrat does it. So I shouldn't have to say this. Foreign governments should not be able to purchase access to someone who's going to be president. Uh, if you are a friend of Hillary Clinton, you should not be making large donations to someone who is married to an individual that will be investigating Hillary Clinton. This is unbelievable. I mean, this is the type of shit you see in movies, but it's happening. And, and you know, this just shows that our democracy is becoming more and more of a banana republic.